Hi guys, Chef J Fed back with another exciting barbecued episode. Today we are going to be working with the Mac Daddy, the king of barbecue. We are going to be making the barbecue beef brisket. Now the beef brisket, we get two awesome treats out of it. We are going to be getting the sliced Texas beef brisket from the flap. Then we're going to remove the decal or the point of the brisket from the flap. We're going to be putting that back in the barbecue for another four or five hours and we're going to be turning those into beef burnt ends. Then we're going to take the barbecue beef burnt ends and we're going to turn them into a buffalo barbecue blue cheese beef burnt end sandwich. Try saying that ten times real fast. This sandwich is a play on getting a plate of buffalo chicken wings with a side of blue cheese and carrots and celery. What we're gonna do is we're gonna toss the burnt ends in some buffalo barbecue sauce, put it on the bun, we're gonna top it with some blue cheese crumbles, and then we're gonna make a carrot celery slaw and put that on top. It is gonna be buffalo delicious. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna be showing you this special secret recipe that I don't tell anyone. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna trim off a lot of this excess fat we want to have about a quarter inch to a half inch of fat on the brisket when we're smoking it because all this fat is going to render through the meat and make it so juicy and tender. But uh, there's some big hunks of fat that you just don't want or need, especially this line of fat on the flap side. And we can just take this off because it's going to be sitting on the bottom anyway. This hunk right here is pretty thick and hard so we're going to take this off to let the smoke really get to the meat and penetrate it. It's going to be just awesome. Now we have the brisket trimmed up just like we want it. It's time to add the rub. So we're going to take some barbecue rub and we are just going to cover the brisket with it. We're going to spread it generously all over the brisket. Get in the pocket here. There we go. Flip this over. Look at the size of this bad boy. All right. And then we're going to do the other side. Look how this rub is just soaking into this meat. This is going to sit overnight in the fridge. And all the seasoning is going to sink into the meat. It is going to be so delicious. Look at this double decker of decadence. These huge briskets, we got them in the smoker. They've been marinating overnight. We're gonna let them go for about 12 hours. They're gonna get up to an internal temp of 180 when they're finished. There's nothing better than smoking some brisket on a beautiful fall day. All right, we're about halfway done in the process. Look at the color on these briskets. Oh, they've been smoking for about five and a half hours. I'm gonna get an internal temp. Wow, we are at about 156, that is perfect. So we're gonna take these out, we're gonna wrap them in tin foil. we're gonna put them back in here to finish to 180. This is just delectableness-ishness. That's a word, isn't it? It's been almost nine hours, we are temping the barbecue, the brisket, and we are, let's see here, 180 is the magic number and we have hit it. This bad boy's coming out. All right, guys, here's the briskets. We've let them cool down. We've taken them out of the tin foil that we wrapped them in. One of the great things about wrapping them in the tin foil, look at this. We have all this amazing beef juice. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to add this to our barbecue sauce, and it's going to add this smokiness and this meatiness that is just unbelievable. So anyway, we are going to now remove the point or the decal from the flap. This whole bottom piece here is the flap of the brisket where we get a really nice lean slices and then there's a lot of nice marbled fat up in the point of the brisket. And so you can see there's a seam here where the fat, fat separates both pieces of meat. And so we can just start coming through here. Sometimes you can even take your fingers and separate the fat to get it going. And then you can just take your knife and start slicing through to separate the point 
from the flap. At a certain point, you're just gonna come flush with the flat meat. The, the point kind of thins out and disappears, as you can see. But what you're left with is this nice piece of meat that has a lot of fat in it that we're gonna put back in the smoker. We're gonna render out a lot more fat and the pieces are gonna get tender and juicy. That's gonna be our beef burn ends. And then we have this wonderful brisket flat meat that we can just start carving and making some awesome barbecue sandwiches or beef brisket plates. So these beef burn ends have been in the smoker for about four hours and they are ready to be taken out. I'm gonna slice some of the brisket that I've cooled down and we're gonna have that for dinner tonight. I'm so excited. And I'm gonna start from an end and I'm gonna cut against the grain. And we're gonna see what kind of brisket, what kind of yumminess that we have made that just looks beautiful. Look at that. It's got the smoke ring down there, a nice piece of fat up top, just delicious. This is gonna be so tender, so juicy. We have our burn ends cooled down. Now we're gonna cut them up and dice them into cubes that we can use for cooking. Oh yeah, look at that. See that beautiful color? There's been so much fat that's been rendered out of that meat. It is just super tender. When we heat this up and add the barbecue sauce and the buffalo sauce, make this taste like a buffalo chicken wing beef burn and blue cheese sandwich. Oh my God, is it gonna be epic. And look at that. Oh, the marbling is just fantastic. Now, you can cut these while they're still hot and go right at it. I kinda like to let them cool down, cut them afterwards, and then I have these for, I'll have these for a few days to a week even. When I do burn ends, a piece about this size, I'll basically just cut it in half and then cube. And that's about the size that you want. That way you can put it on a bun, you know, about a handful, six or eight burn ends are gonna fit on a nice bun. You can put them on a plate. That is beautiful. Okay, so let's see how quick we can dice up the rest of these burn ends. So for our topping on top of our buffalo blue cheese beef burn end sandwich, I want to do a play on the buffalo chicken wings. And what's always on the side when you get your buffalo wings? Well, you get carrot sticks and you get celery. So today we are going to take our mandolin and I have the little blades to make them into strips there. And we're just going to shred them into these wonderful little strips. And then we're going to do a little pickling to them, and that's going to be our topping on top of our sandwich. It's going to be just awesome. And be careful with your fingers with this bad boy. Okay, we got our carrots done. That's our celery. One. And... Whoop, little breakage. And two. Okay, so we got our carrot and celery in our bowl. And what we're gonna do to give it some nice flavor, we're gonna add a little apple cider vinegar. Just a splash to cover. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar for some sweetness. Probably about a teaspoon salt, and then some crushed black pepper. And we're gonna mix it up and just kind of do a fast pickle on it, a little sweet pickle cure. And this is gonna be our delicious topping for the Buffalo Barbecue Blue Cheese Beef Burn End Sandwich. I took some of the barbecue sauce that I made from that awesome beef stock juice, that smoky, barbecued beef stock that we collected from the briskets. And I'm gonna add, I have a little buffalo sauce. So we're gonna add that in. And we're gonna mix it up to make our buffalo barbecue sauce. 
we get the sweetness of the barbecue, the smokiness of the beef brisket juice, and we get the, the kick, the cayenne kick of the buffalo wing sauce. I got this pan heating up, and I'm gonna take just enough beef burn ends to fit on a bun. That's about the right size. It's actually gonna be even a little taller than one layer. It's gonna be nice. Start to sizzle. We're gonna get those nice and warm, and then we're gonna add our sauce to it and let it all caramelize and get delicious. And then we're gonna get ready to plate and make our sandwich. Our burn ends are heating up in the pan. Now we're gonna add our barbecue sauce, our buffalo barbecue sauce. There we go. And we're just gonna give it a little toss. Cover them all up. And we're gonna let that sauce reduce and get all sticky and caramely and delicious on those burn ends. Now we can start building our sandwich. I got this beautiful brioche bun from Harvest Moon Bread Company. They make just the most fantastic hamburger buns, barbecue buns in Colorado. Anyway, let's make this burn end sandwich. So, we just wanna strategically place the burn ends on the bun. Okay, just like so. And then, we're gonna take our blue cheese crumbles and we're gonna to top the sandwich, Ooh, look at that fall off. We're gonna top the sandwich with our blue cheese crumbles right there. And then on top, we're putting our carrot and celery slaw on top. Look at that, does that just look amazing? The Buffalo barbecue beef burn in blue cheese sandwich. Look at those big chunks of burn ends. We got our blue cheese crumbles. Our celery and carrot slaw on top is gonna to be so barbecue delicious. Now is the moment I've been waiting for for literally three days now. I started this process on Friday. It is now Monday and I'm about to take a bite in this monstrous buffalo barbecue blue cheese beef burn in sandwich. Mm. Oh man, that beef is so tender. And the mixture of the buffalo sauce, the buffalo barbecue sauce with the blue cheese and the crunch of the carrots and the celery and it's got a little vinegary to it. It is just one of the most perfect combinations of flavors you could have in a sandwich. This is just delicious. Mm. I wish you were here in this with me oh my god don't forget to watch the bonus recipe video right after this announcement thank you so much for watching this video please stay tuned we're gonna have more videos coming out really soon if you haven't subscribed subscribe down here and then also hit the notification button so that you can be notified when my next videos are coming out thank you so much i'm so grateful okay so here is the barbecue rub first we are using a granulated sugar I'm using a cane sugar, you can use a brown sugar if you want to. Two cups, two cups of sugar. Next we're using one cup of paprika. Then we are using two tablespoons of black pepper. Two tablespoons of salt. Two tablespoons of onion powder. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. Using two tablespoons of chili powder, and two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. And for the brisket, I add in a special ingredient, two tablespoons of oregano. And all we're gonna do is get in and mix it on up. You got yourself some barbecue rub.